I'm Debbie Birch and I'm with the Queen Anne's County Office of Tourism and I'm here today with Mark and Kim Kasha of Kasha Vineyards and we're going to talk a little bit about the vineyards. Tell us a little bit about your vineyard. It's very unique because it is the only one on Ken Island and I think that that's fascinating. You're on the water. So tell us about like how big it is, where it's located and all that information. Okay, well we're on Thompson Creek Road on Ken Island. We're all the way at the end. We, we're on the end of a peninsula so we're, we're a waterfront property. Nice. We have over 20 acres and 12 of them a little over 12 acres now is in vines. Okay. Uh, we are accessible by boat as well, so we have deep water at our pier, and we have a lot of visitors coming by boat or by car and or uh, other other probably modes not, of transportation. I'm thinking there's probably not a lot of vineyards like in Western Maryland, all that you can get to by boat. So that's no. a huge selling point there's for very, you all. That's right. There's only a couple that we know about in, in the state that are accessible by boat. Okay. I'm one of them. And and you said um, you have different you have acres. Do you grow different? Because I'm not. I don't know a lot about grapes and all that, and I know there's different kinds. So what do you grow, and what does what you grow, what does that make? <laughs> well, currently we grow 19 different varieties of grapes, oh, which is a lot. And the only reason we did that is because we were the first ones to plant any grape vines on Ken Island. Okay. And so it, it was very difficult to find anybody with any experience to tell us what would grow. So, so it was a basically, trial and error. we did a trial and error, and we picked the grapes that we liked the taste of the wines that were made from them from other places that we visited. And so we, we decided to plant a lot of different varieties. So we do have dominant varieties like Cabernet Sauvignon, Merlot, Cabernet Franc, okay. Chardonnay, Viognier, and some of the more popular ones and, and some smaller ones too. I know you guys, you've won a People's Choice Award for a couple years now. Um, oh, we won a double gold in the a go. Governor's Cup for our Nebbiola, and we've won gold medals for our Queen Anne's Reserve nice. and our Zin Vendel and... Um, but Wick Dudley did grow grapes um, in Queen Anne's County before we did, and not he was helpful. His soil okay. is totally different than ours. Yeah, it, it, not on the island. Right, yeah. right. I just, I, th I think that's fascinating because people, you know, they think of the vineyards and they think, oh, they're in the rolling countryside, and there's a lot of vineyards on the eastern shore, and, you know, there is a Chesapeake wine trail that you can follow to all of them, and if you start as soon as you cross the Bay Bridge, you guys would be the first vineyard that they hit. A lot of times when um, I people say there's a vineyard on Ken Island, I tell them, do you know where the Cracker Barrel is? And it doesn't matter where I am in the state, mm -hmm. everybody knows where that Cracker Barrel That's is. That's true. And we're at the end of that road. That's but. true. Yeah, because people, where's Thompson Creek Road? And that's we perfect. are the best kept secret on the Eastern Shore. <laughs> we have a beautiful venue. We've had a lot of weddings and um, rehearsal dinners. In fact, we have one tomorrow night. Um, we've had uh, bachelorette parties and bridal showers and um, a lot of we have couples who've been there before will come in with a little lunch and um, get some wine and sit outside and enjoy the view and it's it's so really pretty people can just um, is it by appointment do you have certain hours that you're open how does that work well we're open every Saturday and Sunday okay. generally from April through December from oh. 12 until 4. through December right. Wow okay and then uh, we're closed for three months in in the winter time and other other times by appointment so. okay like if somebody wants to have a private party uh, we've had lots of birthday parties on you know say a Friday night or um, we've had weddings um, you know we like We've got some really nice customers and nice people drink wine and we've made a lot of friends through people who've come through our tasting room and um, you know one of our uh, neighbor had a surprise birthday party for her husband and didn't tell him um, what they were doing they thought they were going to one of the restaurants over at the narrows for dinner by boat and she said oh you want to stop and at the tasting, you know, at the and winery and have a, a glass of wine. And he said, are they open? She goes, well, look at all the cars. And they He's got thinking, off. He's thinking, oh, you're doing a booming business. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> On a Friday night. And here it was his surprise 60. What a wonderful idea, though, because that's that's the other part of the, the business there is that not only do you have the tasting room and all that, you know, it can be rented as a venue and you're right on the water. So it's a beautiful setting. Um, you don't have to go to California to be, you know, get married in a in a Or to have good vineyard. wine. Yeah, or to have good wines. Exactly. I'm, you know, I am married to Mark, uh, my rocket scientist husband. <laughs> but I will tell you, he has a passion for making wine, which I think you'll find most uh, vintners right. do. But um, he makes, I think, the best Maryland well, you wine. You must be doing something right to win the awards. So that, that the awards speak, you know, volumes. We try he gives tours too, and if you get Mark talking about the wine, you might be there for a while. Um, 
but he'll, okay. <laughs> he'll give a tour of the facilities or take you out um, in the vineyard. And a lot of people are really interested in that. I mean, it's incredible how knowledgeable people are about wine and right. how really interested they are in drinking it and even the health benefits of drinking wine. Exactly, exactly. What is it, a glass of wine a day is fine. So, you know, it, and you're right, people are becoming more knowledgeable and I think now that we, how long have you been um, growing there? I, well, we planted the vineyard in 1998. Okay, so, so been it's quite been a quite a while. So, But we were licensed in 2005 as a winery. Okay. But we didn't open our tasting room until 2012, so okay. we're on our third season. Excellent. But we did, we were um, participating in the Buy Local and the Fine and the farm trail and so we had had people at our facility or for private events Knew about prior it. to right. that but really it was with the Ken Island Federation of Art three years ago which this weekend will be the um, our third anniversary with mm -hmm. them that we really open to the public and it was a beautiful event and every year it's just and gotten that's the garden tour and that's the Saturday and Sunday so Excellent. So tell us again your hours, your location, and um, I have information that will be up on the screen with contact information, but give us all that information sure. again. Okay, so we're at 1200 Thompson Creek Road, which is at the end of Thompson Creek Road. Which we're is where Cracker Barrel is. Uh, Good that's, landmark. That's, that's <laughs> off of 50. We're only Thank two you, miles, Cracker Barrel, for that. <laughs> two miles from Route 50, so it's a short uh, little turn. That, that, detour to come from Route 50 if you're on your way to the beach or anywhere else. Right. Uh, we're open on Saturdays and Sundays from 12 to 4. Generally, I mean, I work a full-time job too, and my wife is a judge in the county here, and so uh, that's why we're only open on the weekends right. currently. But by appointment, and, you know, But we have yeah. appointments, yes. and we do some evening uh, tastings too, and, and we've had a, a number of people interested in doing that. Okay. Um, it's a nice place to come if you have uh, visitors um, and you've run out of things to do. Right. Um, it's you know if you're not if it's raining you don't want to go on the boat or yep. um, it's a nice I go to seven o'clock mass at St. Christopher's and a lot of times people would see the sign on the back of my car and I'd see um, people from church come around noon and then next time they they come and they look in and say oh we never knew you were here I've been here all my life mm -hmm. next time they'd come back with their children who are about my age and their kids my age would say mom and dad how did you find this yeah, place exactly the parents are fine and where to go and have then wine. the parents <laughs> would come back with the their kids. college age children mm -hmm. and they're they were like mom and dad <laughs> and then those kids will come back with their girlfriends who are getting married or yep. with a date and it's really been it's a nice quiet place to come i mean it sometimes it gets a little louder but we have people bring dogs and children and um it's a, a lovely venue and you're allowed to bring your own food or a, a picnic lunch or something we encourage that because when we drink we like to have right. something to eat so and so the grounds being right on the the water there it's perfect setting for you that you can picnic out in the lawn or um sit at a table inside or out okay wonderful well hopefully um you know you'll have a good season i'm, I'm just impressed that you're open all the way to the, through to December for you know people to come in because in the winter again people are looking for things to do so, yeah. so we, like we, so our philosophy was well when people stop coming because the weather turns cold we'll close that's well, right and, and they, they didn't stop coming, coming. <laughs> so so you might find yourself open in January next well, we year did. now we actually had, we had <laughs> I hope someone not. get married there December 31st yep mm -hmm. and then we had the next weekend even though we were supposed to close we had a big Say another 60th yeah. birthday you, party. You only think you're going to have those few months off. I look up forward <laughs> to those times off. So, well, I'm, I'm glad you guys stopped by and thank you so much. And I hope everybody gets out. a chance to come out and sample the wine and we see the setting. So, thank you. And we love to have people come and, and please don't be afraid to ask any questions if you have any because, I mean, we like to talk about it too. So, wonderful. It's a fun event, I think, for everyone. All right. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you for having us.